have a bunch of Ikea pack systems. And it looks like this. Here's the unit. Ta-da! Half the drawers are open. This is what I need. More shelves. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Squeeze the sides, feel it rush. Sipping on Hawaiian punch. Squeeze the sides, feel it rush. Good morning! Ah! I'm starting the vlog off in my makeup closet room because today we're doing it. Well, I'm not doing it. I, <laughs> I bet if I put my mind to it, I could put up these Ikea packs units, but I don't know if I have it in me. I have done it before. Like, I've had my cousin help me and we, like, put it up together. I know I can do it, but it's just so much effort and I know that it'll take me a couple days to do this and if I just hire someone, it's gonna take them a couple hours. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I got a task rabbit. They're gonna be coming over today. I have a bunch of Ikea pack systems and it looks like this. These are the tall ones, the tall and skinny ones. Ooh, Bella Hadid. And all of this stuff got delivered yesterday and I'm so excited. I tried my best. You guys saw what it looked like before. It was literally a tornado. I cleaned out the area a little bit. This is the wall that I want to put it on. People were sad. They were like, are you gonna put it like in front of the, oh my God, the guy's here, in front of the windows. Unfortunately, I have to put it in front of the windows, which kind of sucks, but we get a lot of natural light from here. Oh my God. The task rabbit is here. Ah! I think he's gonna start working on it. Oh my God. Please, please be the right one. I can't get it out. Oh my God, I think it is. Yay. Oh my God, it is. Okay. I remember like a week or two ago, I ordered the storage bench. They sent me the right one. Yay. Oh, finally. Yay. Ah! I'm gonna try and put it together. Sorry, Blue. Ooh. The corners. The feed. I'm so happy. Woo! Let's put it together. Oh my god, I did it. That was so easy. I didn't even need any tools or anything. But this, I got this little bed. What is it called? Front side table. I don't know what it's called. But it's like the thing that goes in front of your bed. And it has storage inside. But I'm so happy because the one that we have right now is like, it's from Marina Del Rey. Like she was super cheap. Um, she's kind of falling apart. And this one's been like, super cute and I feel like these types of like little end table things it just helps blue get up on top of the bed and I also feel like it makes the bed look a little bit bigger so I'm excited okay let's add it upstairs oh my god I don't know if I can do it by myself if I hug it I think I can do it I got this Ugh. oh Hopefully I didn't scratch anything. Oh, that's halfway. Okay, ignore the mess, but this is what it looks like. It looks so much better. The other one was kind of like falling apart, honestly, but blue. Do you like it? Come right here. Come right here. I think she loves it. This is like how she hops up on the bed. She always goes on this one first. But look, you can like open it up and there's storage, which is amazing because you could always use extra storage. I love it. I love how my boyfriend was like, don't decorate the room too girly. And it's me over here with the pink and purple. <laughs> but Blue loves it. It's two against one, right? Oh my God. I got some more packages today. I feel like they all came in like a big chunk. I'm so excited. Okay. First things first. Woo. This is like seriously like my serotonin of like the whole like month. Like this is insane. So I'm so excited. I ordered this on Amazon. This is a little purse organizer. I got it for my Birkin. And this is the little company. But I don't know. I, lo I love just like buying like cute little accessories. And there's not very many pockets. And my Birkin's black. So it's kind of hard to see inside. So I got a fun color. I got pink and you put it on the inside of your bag and they have like little compartments and little pockets and i think that it's so cute ah! i love the way that they package it but yeah this is her she's great because i don't know i have like a togo leather bag so it's already very slouchy this at least will give it a little bit of structure there's little pockets on the inside for like your lip glosses and the best 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 part is if you spill anything inside of your bag it's not spilling inside your bag it's spilling inside of this which is like easily replaceable whereas the bag it's like you don't want to get anything ruined in it but oh so excited it's like cute little patterns oh my god i'm so happy because that one it took a long time to come next i got it blue what is this I got her a little chew Nell toy because how, like, that is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon. You want it? You want this? You want? Ready? Get your paw. Get your paw. Other paw. Circle. Circle. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that is so cute. I love getting her like little things like that. Next up, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this one says it's from Alani. I'm so excited. They just sent me over the Kim Kardashian energy drink and it's literally like lemonade. Ooh, we got, oh wow, look at this. 
a glass bottle. We got an Alani glass bottle and their Hawaiian shaped ice energy sticks. Thank you, Alani. And then, oh my god, I am so excited. When I saw the box, I was like, it's finally here. It actually is here early. I think I ordered it and it said it was gonna come at the end of the month. But I got basically, I wanted like cute like coffee table books just for the living area because I don't know, I just put like my magazine and I look like a narcissist. So I wanted to make like a cute coffee table books and they, ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, ah, okay, ah. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna I was looking at you know those books and they have like, you know, Bora Bora and like Crease, Mykonos Those like travel books and they're all colorful I thought that that would be cute and they were like a hundred dollars and I was like, I don't know a hundred dollars for a coffee table book I was like that's kind of a lot. So I was looking into this is actually really big I was looking into how much a custom coffee table book would be and I remember Sierra I think did like a brand deal with them. I was like, what was that coffee table book? You did a brand deal with she's like what and I was like, I swear you did a like custom like coffee table book brand deal so she it was like chat bucks, which chat bucks if you want to work with me, hey, love you guys. But these books were around $100 and they are custom. You can put your own design and everything on it. So I went to Bore Bore with my boyfriend and you're able to custom it. I literally, I did like inspired by that travel. I don't know what those books are called, those travel books. And I'm so happy. I was nervous that it wasn't going to be a high quality photo, but they made it look really good. But yeah, I don't know. I think that this is so cute. Ah! Boyfriend. But it just looks like this. It says Bora Bora on it. And then, oh, oh my God. Wow, the pages are really thick. Oh, it's such good quality. Wow, here, you can kind of see this one. But this is like the resort. And I did everything on the app. It's like everything, it was so easy to do. This is like our room and like our first night there. I did it kind of like in order of like how it was. But oh my God. Wait, you can kind of see. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Like, girl. I love this. And you can even, I know some people, I was looking on TikTok because all of the moms do this. <laughs> and you can like add text and stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted it to be like a picture book. Oh my god, it's so cute. And I feel like, I don't know. It's little things like this make the house a home. And I don't know, it's like, it shows all of our memories. I never print out our stuff. Like this is actually really cool. We got some underwater footage. Like this is us. This was when we went on a boat. This guy, he literally was like Aquaman. He was like our tour guide and he this is an eel like an electric eel that could like can kill you he literally got so close he like pet it my boyfriend with like a squid look at the crate we got the craziest we were swimming with sharks like oh my god this is so cool oh i'm so happy with how it turned out but yeah these books were like a hundred dollars and i think that this is so much cuter than than just ordering like you know a, a random like coffee table book that you're probably not even gonna read this is our last day oh this is so cute i'm so happy oh and then this is how it ends Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I have the little, have little barcode thing on here. Ooh. But yeah, it's called Chatbooks. It's not sponsored, but it should be. Chatbooks, I love you. I wish I had a coupon code. I would give you guys a coupon code, but I think I, they always have a coupon code. I think I found a coupon code on Honey and I saved like 20% or something like that. I saved like a good amount of money. But, oh, this is so cute. Okay, wait, I wanna open the other one. So this one was Bora Bora and then this one was when we went to Italy and there were no travel books that just said Italy. So I called it Amalfi Coast. And oh, I love the colors. Oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, wait, let me open it. Oh my God, oh my God. This one's a little bit bigger. You can pay for extra paper. I think I paid, this one was like 120 or something. I don't know. It was like around that price range because this one's a little bit bigger. I had more photos, but this is what it looks like. I designed, by the way, I designed this whole cover art on Canva. It was super easy. I like, I showed you guys like the text and everything that I use on my spam account. So just make Make sure you're following my spam account, but oh my god. This is my favorite restaurant in Italy. It's called Asteria da Fortuna. They make the pasta right in front of you. Like this, they literally make the pasta. It's so good. It's like a little like hole in the wall, but it's like, oh my god, it's amazing. And you have to go early because there's always a line. Oh, this is when we went to. This is the first ever Alfredo pasta. I did a whole TikTok on it. Oh, this is cute. Ah! 
<laughs> what I was saying earlier is you can add text like you could be like today we you know the day that we got our pass on this is the day that we had our like our cooking class this was such a fun day like honestly that was like the highlight of our trip was that cooking class it was so much fun we like met other tourists it was so fun this Airbnb was so iconic oh my god it makes me want to watch the travel vlogs again oh that was like oh oh my god that was like a dream that was insane oh my god and then Capri when we went to Capri like you know what I mean I just feel like stuff like this is so much more custom like your guests are way more likely to go through the books and like you could see all your memories and oh my god this is the lemon restaurant oh I think that's like my favorite place in the whole world I think it, 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 I think it literally is I was so happy I got this photo this literally looks like a professional photo there was like a huge group there by the way this restaurant is so expensive there's a huge group here and they had like a huge party and I got the most gorgeous like table photo there oh my god it's so nice I would love to do just like a like a travel um itinerary thing and just like share with you guys like everywhere that we went to and all the airbnbs that we stayed at because guys when we were looking at hotels especially in positano there were like thousands of dollars airbnbs were like way nicer way bigger and like not even half the price like probably like a third of the price it was amazing so if you guys want any like travel like i don't, I don't know what those are called like travel pdfs like travel itinerary things like let me know because when me and my friends went to italy they're like damn i don't know you like know everything but here's our new coffee table books and i think they're so cute and they're just so custom oh my god i'm so so excited to show my boyfriend. He's gonna freak out. He's gonna love it. And then the last thing, native. I think this might be my deodorant. Oh my god, I've never seen a box like this. Like, how does this open? Oh, it's right here. Smile, this package is happy to see you. Oh, look at the little. Is that a Frenchie sticker? Oh, wait, I think this is my Poshmark order. Oh my god, it totally is. Ah! Oh my god, okay. Ah! I posted this on my spam account and I have been wanting this Victoria's Secret robe. This is me just fulfilling my childhood fantasy. Like when I was younger, I was never able to afford anything nice. Like I think the nicest thing I've ever bought was like a Victoria's Secret backpack and like, holy shit, I think it was like 50 or $75. I saved up all, I did chores, 25 cents a chore. I saved up all my money for that backpack. But yeah, anything else Victoria's Secret, like you guys know, if you look at my old videos, I was obsessed with Victoria's Secret. I've always 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 wanted the victoria's secret fashion show robe and weird enough they like go up in value online like i saw some victoria's secret fashion show robes were like thousands of dollars i was like what these bitches are like a hundred dollars at the store when you buy it but this is what it looks like it says victoria's secret fashion show new york i saw so many of these they were going for like a hundred like two hundred dollars and i was like girl i don't know if i could justify like an old robe but i found this one on poshmark for like 20 and it's so cute and i feel like we could just do like get ready with me it's like this oh i'm so excited i don't know i'm just like fulfilling my childhood fantasies this and like juicy couture holy shit I was never able to afford Juicy Couture. I don't know if I ever bought anything Juicy Couture. I think it was Victoria's Secret that more so had like a choke hold on me. Aww, look at the little, this is why I love Poshmark. Like they have like the little stickers, but yeah, that's everything that I got. Aww, ta-da! I'm gonna put everything away. Here, I wanted to show you. Here's my bag. And as you can see, she's like super slouchy and like it's to the point where I'm like, I'm scared that I'm gonna ruin her. So I'm gonna empty out all the things that I have in here. I'm gonna put in the insert. It goes in perfectly. Oh my God, yay! Look how cute that is. And now you can like really see what's in there because my only pocket that I had was this one and then the zipper right here. So I just had like a bunch of like knickknacks, like, like lip glosses, like pens. And now I can like really just put it in the sleeves. These serums, I need to honestly use these serums. <laughs> but yeah, like I can put them in the sleeves and it's just way more organized. Oh, I have to use this necklace. This necklace says my name on it. I should wear it right now, honestly. But ah, I love it. And I think it honestly gives the best a little bit more structure but I'm so excited to have a closet now it's gonna look so good I think I kind of honestly want to finish the closet today we'll see if I can just hopped out of the shower I'm listening to Renee Rapp's new album and I honestly really like it but oh I feel like so refreshed and like ready now sometimes all you need is a good shower to just like think about nothing and just like refresh your whole life but I changed into my pajamas 
and we're getting cozy and I really want to start that Ikea PAX unit. All of the hard work is pretty much done, like putting up the frames. It's mostly just putting up the shelves and then the drawers, which I honestly, I think I could do. I think I know where our screw and our drill is. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think I have an addiction. I'm craving raising canes. Like everything in the fridge is not hitting right now. I'm literally, I'm looking at it. I'm like, all I'm thinking about is raising canes. So I honestly might go. Do you want to come with me to raising canes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Wait, where's my keys? This is turning into <laughs> an addiction. I have raisin keys like multiple times a week. Like this is definitely not good for you. But is it? I'm like, it's just chicken, right? Ooh. Also, let me know your favorite song on Renee Rapp's album because Andre texted me. He said that he likes Renee Rapp's album more than Olivia Rodrigo's. And like, honestly, I love Olivia Rodrigo's, but I don't know. I don't know who's I like more. You know who's really growing on me though? Sabrina Carpenter. Like I know she hasn't really released new stuff recently, but I've just been listening to her stuff like on repeat all the time. Feather, oh my God. I love all of her, her popular stuff. Also super random, I was gonna tell you when I was in the bathroom, but I started using the Paula's Choice Exfoliator because it like, everyone was talking about it. Like it went viral on TikTok and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna try it. I think it was like, mm, $15, like it really wasn't that expensive. And it's just salicylic acid. And I kid you not, I started getting like bigger pores recently and it got rid of my pores. Like, I don't know if you can see, but my pores are like gone. And then I started making my boyfriend use it. Girl, my boyfriend, he's he's like in his 30s. Like he's he has big pores. Sorry, love you if you're listening. But what I mean to say is like he started using that. I gave him like a basic cleanser. He started using that salicylic acid and like a moisturizer. His skin has never looked so good. It's the most basic routine that I started making him use. And like, oh my God, it made the world of a difference. Like he started using it and then I started getting jealous. I'm like, damn, your pores are getting smaller. So I started using it and I was like, damn, my pores look so good. I mean, I don't even see them. So I don't know. If you ever notice that you have like your pores are getting bigger I feel like mine started getting bigger with age I started using that it's the Paula's choice exfoliator you're allowed to use it once a day I mean it's just salicylic acid and it made the world of a difference and even like my skincare technician friend she was telling me you should be using salicylic acid and I was like retinol she's like no don't use retinol till you're like 30 or 40 like it thins the skin use salicylic acid so that made the world of a difference it's so 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 good and I'm like I love my skin right now Ooh, there's a salvation army here I have like a, a bench the bench that I just I got rid of because we got a new one i just like put it in my car so whenever i pass by salvation army because sometimes they're open and sometimes they're closed like, sometimes they allow donations and sometimes it's like full for the day which i don't know it's kind of annoying so i like to just keep it in the back of my car and then whenever i pass by one i'm like okay <laughs> i'm gonna see if they're open for donations oh my god if they made me go inside i'm literally wearing pajamas but whatever we were able to donate going to other side what are you doing over there let's go raise some canes woohoo Yay! This is like my happy place. Hello. Can I just get the box combo, please? With no coleslaw, extra bread, butter on both sides, and honey mustard, and extra cane sauce. And extra honey mustard sauce, actually. Um, can I get a lemonade? That's everything. Can I do apple pay? Thank you. You too. Yay! Boo, you're so nice. You didn't even bark at the man. <laughs> ah! I wish this was sponsored. <laughs> like, this rising cane's even do sponsors. I'm like literally so upset. I don't know, I feel like I get like hyper fixated on food sometimes. Or even just like a Starbucks drink, like I'll get hyper fixated on a Starbucks drink and have it for like a whole month straight and then get sick of it, but or no, not really. I really don't get sick of it, honestly. Like I literally had the same Tim Hortons order for years. Well, no, I switched it up a little bit, but I don't know. I love Raising Cates. The only thing that would make Orange County better, I love Raising Cates. They just need a Tim Hortons, maybe Joe and the Juice. Yeah, Tim Hortons, honestly. That's all I'm asking for, actually. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She thinks it's Starbucks. She like thinks she's gonna get like a puppuccino. <laughs> Have a good one. Oh, everyone is so nice. This is why I love Raisin Gains. I literally love Raisin Gains. And they did like a collab with Post Malone. Like, are you kidding? Like, how iconic is that? Can you go on the other side? Go on the other side. Thank you. Wait, should I check that I bought everything? Okay, let's see. I have a very specific order. And sometimes I order on DoorDash, but like sometimes they just don't listen to my things. Okay, it's perfect. Ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yay! Oh my god, I need a bite of this bread. The bread, this is my order. I get the box combo. Ah! The bread with this cane sauce is unreal. Oh my god. Oh, it's so crispy still. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my god, so good. I'm fully addicted. Like, this is so good. <laughs> I've always been a McDonald's girly, but as a recent, I, I, it's because I grew up with McDonald's. Like, my mom never would cook. Love you, mom. So we would get McDonald's all the time. So I think I just grew up in McDonald's. Girl, raisin canes. Mm, do best. Fast food. You want peas? You want puff? 
Mm -hmm. Fish and fry. Yum, yum. Yay. Let's go to my room. Are you hungry? Yeah, this was what I was talking about in the car. This is life changing. But I just looked up. I think it's actually $30, but it's so good. And I'll link it on my Amazon storefront. I got it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could get it to four or two, but I don't know if it's right, but I'm pretty sure it was cheaper on Amazon when I looked. But again, here's the unit. A lot of them have them secured in, but some of them need to be screwed in. So I can't find my screwdriver or my, my drill. So I'm going to have to do it by hand. had an ikea packs this tall like look at how tall it is compared to me i think it's nine feet tall like i'm like five foot like one five foot two blue is like come here blue's like one foot it's like <laughs> oh my god i love it the only thing is i i'm having trouble putting in the the things like all on my own with just a screwdriver Ugh. so i'm gonna try and figure out my drill because it'll make it so much easier i got it let's do it oh my god hopefully it's easier let's see Wow, that literally took me one second. Oh my God, when I was doing it by hand, it took me like a minute per one. Oh my God. I'm missing some pieces, so I wanna see if maybe it's in here. These are like the last boxes that I have. Oh, okay. This is what I need, more shelves. These two? Huh, I wonder why they put it in a box. Such a big box for those two things. Everything else they didn't put in a box. Honestly, I love when things aren't packaged so crazily. I still don't understand why Amazon can't just give you the thing without putting it in a box. I guess some people don't steal it, but it's such a pain getting rid of the box, you know? Those two boxes for just this, it's crazy. But I'm really excited. This is the hanger, and these are the parts that I need in here. that we should do a clothing rack, clothing rack, clothing rack here. Because there's just so much storage like that's that's visible. I wanna like be able to display my like nice pieces here. So I think I might do that. But yeah, I, other than that, I can't see. I'm like missing little pieces. I'll show you. Also, I don't know if my boyfriend's gonna watch this. I'm literally using his desk chair. But I'm missing some of these little pieces so that I could put the rest of the things up. I don't know where I might have accidentally thrown it out so I might have to go to Ikea and buy some more but ah! also my drill died so I'm charging it right now but I think that's like I'm honestly I'm really happy with everything that I got done today ah! It looks so good. I think some things that I want to do. So I was looking on TikTok and there's ways that you can make your Ikea packs not look like an Ikea packs. And people will get like little boards to put in front of here or they'll fill in the holes. So I might try and do an Ikea packs DIY to make it look a little bit more custom. But I love the closet. I can't believe this is my room. Oh my God, I love it so much. We did it. Oh, let me charge this. But I think I'm gonna try and finish the closet tomorrow. Maybe we can do a little bit more DIYs. I do wanna buy, I think I made up my mind. I do wanna buy more of these and it's not bad. I think these were pretty cheap. They're like 10 to 20 bucks. I don't know if I can return the shelves because I already took out all of the little nuts and bolts from it, but I love the closet so much and I can't believe that this is my room and I'm so excited to fill it up because I have literally all of these boxes are like shoes and bags and then in my suitcase I have shoes and bags. Like, it's gonna be so much fun. This is just like a little teaser of what it's gonna look like. Also, I was talking on my spam account and I was asking you guys, cause I, you guys know me, I'm a color person. I love color. I like always had color in my rooms. Like you guys remember my yellow era? Like, so I really wanna bring color. I feel like it's so boring. Like we know the Ikea white packs. We've seen it before, everybody has it. So I was either thinking of painting everything pink, like hot pink, like Victoria's Secret vibe, or maybe just painting the back 
pink, but I don't know, I want to have some sort of pop of color in here because it's just, it's too boring for me. We need color and I want to add color. But let me know what you think, if I, what I should do to add color here. I definitely want to get like a pink rug or something like that, but yeah, so happy. I love the closet. Good night closet. Look at Blue and her bone. <laughs> It's one in the morning and I have the munchies, so I'm eating the leftover recent <laughs> games that I have. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. But today's tip of the day, or today's merch shout out of the day goes to Raha on Instagram. She's wearing the 437 collection I did with them. It's the Ice Matcha collection, and I love this set that I do with 437 so much. She's still available, and it's the most flattering V-cut shape. So if you guys do want to check it out, it's just 437. I think it's in my link tree. If I if you're on like my TikTok or my Instagram, this should be in there. Adel and Warren X 437. And then today's tip of the day goes to pink affirmations on instagram you just tag me that's how you become merch shout out of the day or a tip of the day and her tip of the day says your comfort zone will kill you i love this tip of the day because so many people are like i don't know you've been doing youtube for like 10 plus years like how do you do it for so long and i just i feel like you have to always constantly keep evolving and i feel like not only with being on social media but also just being in life you know i feel like i saw this one quote and it said the reason why as we get older life seems to go faster and faster and faster is because we get so used to our routine Teens. The act of doing something new and doing something out of your comfort zone almost makes time feel like it's lasting longer. I don't know. It's just little things like that to think about. I always tell myself I try to do something new at least maybe not once a week but maybe at least once a month um and try and like push myself and get out of my comfort zone and i was really getting out of my comfort zone this month I, it's just like with my whole team like i've been with my whole team since the past like 10 years and i'm finding a new team and it was like a totally like mutual decision but i decided i'm like i need to get out of my comfort zone i need to find a new team and find a new me and find this adeline 2.0 and find out what i want to do with my career but yeah it's scary i like have so much anxiety this past like month but it's really exciting and i feel like you know there's only going up from here but yeah <laughs> i don't know this is just like what i'm going through hopefully it makes you feel better but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog um i'm always here if you need to talk every monday and friday on my vlog channel and every wednesday on my girl talk podcast channel but i love you guys i'm always here same place same time love you, you wanna, bye you I know you want it, want it. Sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Squeeze